I don't know if you want this on TV, but did you step on the scale when you were in there? <laughs> I did, and we don't have to tell anybody that. <laughs> Heather Jackson is 29 weeks along with baby number four. It's good. Okay. And she's got faith. Things will be different this time. Maybe if you want to do some milk thistle. Okay. It's an herb. The certifications on the wall say midwife. Faith Mori will deliver this baby boy in an office the Jacksons know well, home. That's crazy. Why would somebody have their birth at home? Is that safe? Those kind of things. Maury's heard it all. She's a midwife overseeing and assisting mothers in home births. What I seek to do as a midwife is to let them choose what kind of experience they want within a safe boundary. I'm very pro um, nurse midwifery. Dr. Michael Gardner is the chair of obstetrics and gynecology at OU Tulsa. He says the nurse in nurse midwifery is an important distinction. Someone who didn't do that is someone who, um, in my mind, does not have adequate credentials to be taking care of pregnancies. Uh, obviously, the state disagrees with me because they allow this person to practice. Certified nurse midwives have advanced nursing degrees. They birth at birthing centers attached to hospitals, not at home like Maury. Dr. Gardner is concerned that there are small risks of complications that could kill mother or baby. We are prepared for that. We is it isn't something that we just ignore. Maury is trained in handling emergency situations in areas like resuscitation, but she works with low risk clients. She's seen the Sooner State go from about three or four home birth midwives to now having like about 10 and everybody's super busy and has plenty of business. I, I felt like it was safer. Heather and Josh chose Maury for their first home birth after questioning experiences they had at hospitals. We were about 37 weeks and he said, well, I'm going to go on vacation. So if you want me to deliver you, then I need to induce you next week. Heather says her son has had several health problems since that early induction. Did you wonder, well, did I do something? Was it something that we could have prevented? Just blow that air down over your baby. Maury and other home midwives don't subscribe to hospital birth norms with mom on her back on a bed. Rather, they use movement to help a mother's labor along using tools like these birthing balls. At this class, you like this one, Brandy? <laughs> Going over um, uh, the different stages uh, of labor. Baby Jackson's about 30 weeks along. There's definitely a little bit of anxiety, um, but a lot of anticipation just in being able to do it the way we want to do it this time. And um, so we're getting excited. But the next few weeks seem to fly by, and it isn't too long before Maury shows up to work. Ow. Oh. Is it okay if I listen to the baby? The same soft voice that's been there the past nine months. They're so close to being done. Now leads Heather to a birthing stool so she can birth sitting up and take some pressure off her back. Oh. And finally. Now give me a push. Uh, Let your shoulders hold. down. Uh. <laughs> Caleb Elias is home. Hi, Caleb. Dude. Maury and her assistant give Caleb a quick exam, but otherwise leave most of Caleb's first minutes of life to his family. Good job. He was perfect. And if you ask the Jacksons, brought into the world the perfect way. It was, it was neat. He's a little slippery, but it was, it was neat. Yeah. Caleb's five days older now and got a gold star at the pediatrician's office. For my heart, it was just, like I said, just an empowering experience. Caitlin Alexander, Tulsa's Channel 8.